Hello, Exchange Beauty Tribe, and welcome to another incredible beauty live. I am your host, Emily, and we are bringing back uh, one of my favorite people with a, with a fantastic brand. So we have Lynette with Pure Beauty. Lynette, how's it going today? Oh, it's going great today. Just, you know, off our Thanksgiving feast. So I'm feeling, I'm feeling heavy and good. <laughs> That's the best way to feel. There's just no better feeling than that. And, and everyone at home, I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, and I'm so, so, so excited um, to have you back. We're getting closer to the holidays, so I'm sure we're going to be talking about some great holiday um, makeup ideas and looks. Before we dive into that, Beauty Tribe, I just want to remind everyone, um, we want to know where you're watching from. So drop in the chat where you're watching from, um, and if you have any questions for Lynette, please drop them in the chat, and we'll do our best to get to those questions, um, or if there's just a pure beauty product you love, love, love. We want to hear about it. Let us know in the chat. Make sure to like this video and share it to your page to start your own watching party with your friends. Um, and yeah, Lynette, pure beauty. So for those that didn't join us last time though, can you just kind of give us a quick inf info on what pure beauty is all about? Absolutely. I'd love to, you know, for Pure, you know, we're developed with skincare technology and proven clinical ingredients to truly help improve the appearance of the skin. I think that's one of the things that makes us so unique. Another thing that makes us truly unique is that we really are about multitasking, mess-free, easy to use products that you're going to use in your everyday beauty routine. So are you ready to get started? I am. I'm so, I have my, I just washed my face with pure cleanser. So I am, I am ready for you to walk me through these steps for a nice holiday look. Well, the first thing that we definitely want to take care of is our skin. Like you said, cleansing is so important. And then also adding in that hydration because now that the weather has changed and many of us are really feeling that cold weather and it's going to be drying out our skin, one of the items that's going to truly give you some relief, especially around this eye area, is going to be tone up. So we're going to be using concealer coming up in our next few steps. So we definitely want to use a tiny bit of tone up in order to really get that hydration underneath the eye area. So you just want to use a pea size amount of this product. And tone up's name actually comes from the fact that you're going to feel it tone, firm, and tighten this under eye area. So if you have crow's feet, if you've got um, puffy under eyes, dark circles. If you're feeling really dry under here, this is just a product that instantly gives you some relief. It's going to hydrate, it's going to tone, and it's going to firm. So you want to use this about twice a day. It's truly going to help. Another great tip, which we'll get to in our um, so in our uh, concealer is the fact you can mix these two products together if you're running low on time. That's what I love about that multitasking efficiency. The next thing is truly about hydration for our overall skin. So we're going to be jumping into our cars, being in our houses, we're using a lot of heat. So that's drying the skin. Then we step outside and we get that cold tundra on the face and that dries out the skin. So there's two products that I absolutely love during the winter time. The first one is our four-in-one cloud cream. So this one can be used as a booster. So no matter what moisturizer you're using and you need that little extra boost of hydration, reach for your cloud cream and just mix that in with that moisturizer or just a layer over top. My all-time favorite moisturizer, and I can't wait for you to try this, Emily, because you haven't tried this one, I don't think, is Get a Lift. Get a I have lift. It. I'm so excited oh. to try it. Yes. Just like her name, Get a Lift is going to lift and firm. I call her suspenders for my neck and my face. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I typically use this for my nighttime cream, but sometimes in the winter, I like to use it for my daytime cream as well. So you'll notice that she's very rich. She's very emollient. And so she's going to truly moisturize that skin. So, and she just has a really lovely fresh scent to her as well. So oh, we're just yes. going to give our skin just a little bit of lather and then kind of give it a little dab, wake up the skin as we go as well. So nice circular motions up, giving little finger taps onto the skin. It really helps wake up the skin, get that circulation going as well. You will, your skin will thank you for this. Trust me. So what do you think of get a lift so far? 
Um, it feels awesome. And I love that little trick of tapping on the skin to wake up, wake up, yeah. get plump, lift, lift. Yes. So yeah. you mentioned neck too. So we can bring this up through our neck or decollete, all of that. Absolutely. And you know, I'm, I'm a little bit more generous in the winter time because I'm using a lot of these like turtlenecks or these little crew necks. So my neck is covered, really secluding or sealing in that hydration in the neck area. So um, definitely be very generous with your get a lift moisturizer. Okay, so now that we've kind of like prepped our skin, given you the best of the best tips for winterizing, as I like to say, your skin, we're going to jump into primer. So Emily, how often do you, now this, you have to tell the truth. How often do you use a primer? I use a primer every time I do my makeup application. Okay. Um, and, and the days that I forget to, I actually, I really do see the difference. Okay. Now see, yeah. and that's the thing is that you don't know you need it till you try it. And then you're just like, hooked on it. So we're going to use our Energize and Rescue Primer. Now this is a deluxe size that does come in our amazing multitasking essentials kit. So this is the best way in order to try out this primer, especially if you've never primed before. But a little tip about primer is that it literally seals in your moisturizer. So this is a great product to use every single day, even if you're not wearing foundation, because it locks in that moisturizer. And then if you choose to put foundation on over top, you can do that as well. So I'm going to use this liquid chisel brush. Now this brush is like magic. This brush takes any liquid product and literally blends it onto the skin effortlessly, especially if you're going to be using um, a, a foundation. So I'm just going to pop this on, get that even application. Don't forget, sweep a little bit underneath your eye area as well. Lock in that tone up and really concentrate it in the areas that you need it. So I get asked all the time, do I put this all over my face or do I just concentrate it in little zones? For me, it's just easier to put it on all over face. I love that. And I did not know that primer locks in the moisturizer. In your moisturizer. So. It's also a really great tip and trick for your neck area. If you've got a little bit looser skin, I know that like, you know, for myself being in my mid forties, you know, this skin texture changes. So putting on this primer, it just gives it back that kind of snap back feel. So this is a really great product to kind of keep with you at all times, especially going into Christmas and New Year when, you know, we might be wearing something a bit festive, showing a little bit of skin. We want that to be very smooth. So little tip there for someone who's um, mid forties and above. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look great. And I know there's people in the chat that are like, there's no way she's in her forties. I mm. am right there with you guys thinking yes. that. So that is amazing. And Thank that you. shows skincare is the best avenue, right? <laughs> yes, it is. Skincare is so important. Now that we've prepped our skin and that takes like 10 seconds. So that's like, honestly, it, you some days you'll forget to put it on because you just literally are like, did I put it on? Did I not put it on? But you will notice that difference. Like you said, Emily, your skin's just going to feel hydrated. You're going to feel smoother as well. So if you've got skin texture issues, hyperpigmentation, if you've got large pores, if you've got lines and wrinkles, that primer just smooths everything out. So that way, when we reach for, drum roll, please. Love your selfie. Thank you. And this is all about love your selfie foundation. So we want you to love your skin, love yourself with our love your selfie foundation. This is a full coverage matte finish foundation. So this is a beautiful formula that's for all skin types, whether you've got oily skin, dry skin, combination skin, finicky skin. If you've got skin, you can wear this. Okay. So I don't think you've tried this before, have you, Emily? No, this is new. So I am doing this for the first time on screen. So I usually just go towards the powder. So I'm excited to try this because I love yeah. a good full coverage. A full coverage is really nice, especially with the Love Your Selfie foundation. So there's two things about this uh, foundation. It's very highly pigmented. So when you've used foundation in the past, I want you to take the amount that you normally use and cut it in half because this is literally full coverage. So this is a half a pump 
And that is the coverage that you get. So this would be two to three applications for me. So I'm just going to use half that amount. Um, and I'm going to use my liquid chisel brush again. So I use this for my energizing rescue primer. Now I'm going to use this for my uh, four in one liquid foundation. So I'm going to scoop up a little bit of that. You can do a little dollop on top here. If you don't have this brush, which you should have this brush, it's a magic wand. Um, just know that if you unscrew the cap of Love Your Selfie, she has a doe foot wand. So you could just use this and concentrate it in those areas and then take your brush or sponge and begin to blend everything together. Okay. So one of the questions I get asked a lot is about foundation is how do I make sure I get a lightweight coverage? A brush is going to help you do that because a brush is going to diffuse the pigment and spread it onto the skin where a sponge is going to concentrate it in one area. So this will make it look more skin-like as well. So now I'm going to do this side and just blend that in going right underneath my eye area because remember we prepped that area as well. But Love Your Selfie is going to reduce the redness in the skin. It's going to cover up under eye dark circles. It's going to even out the skin as well. And it's not going to settle into those fine lines and wrinkles because you've got that primer on underneath. You've got that extra security as well. Oh, nice. So it's just a very nice like airbrush look yes. is where we're headed. I love yeah. that. So <laughs> now that we are, like you said, we're airbrushed with love or something. <laughs> we are airbrushed. We're just going to do a light setting. Now you don't have to set the uh, Love Your Selfie foundation. You could actually just go on like this if you wanted to and just have everyone compliment how smooth and great your skin looks. But I like to use my four-in-one press mineral makeup because it adds that element of sun protection. So I'm going to take my uh, light tan is what I use in the four-in-one Love Your uh, four-in-one press mineral makeup that also comes in in your essentials kit. So we keep dipping into this kit. It is a, a everyday essentials kit. But I'm going to take this four in one press powder because this again is a setting powder. It is a bit of foundation. It does have built in concealer as well. So you're getting all these extras when you're applying four in one press mineral makeup. But my most favorite is the fact that it does have that sun protection of SPF 15. That's awesome. And then this brush comes in the kit too, right? Oh yeah. The brush does come in that essentials kit. So again, this kit you'll keep reaching back for every single time. Um, and it is a game changer. So once you've kind of just done this light little dusting of the four in one pressed, and it's really, honestly, I use it mainly for that sun protection because even in the winter time, we have to protect our skin from the sun. Um, this is just an easy way to do that. Okay, now let's look at your look. All right, you're looking flawless, my friend. Oh, well, thank you. All thanks to Pure Beauty and your direction. So, of course, I'm so glad you're here today with us. <laughs> <laughs> well, anytime you want to talk about Taylor Swift or makeup, I'm here for you. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that you just brought her up. <laughs> so... Beauty Tribe, right before we got on, we were talking about just people we love. So Dolly Parton was brought up. Um, Julianne Moore was brought up. And of course, my girl, Taylor Swift, was brought up. So <laughs> we it were talking about friendship. It shows true friendship when, yes. when I talk about Taylor. Yes, I love that. Okay, awesome. <laughs> okay, so in true fan, uh, fan frenzy. We're going to talk about our uh, four-in-one sculpting concealer. So I know that I've mentioned concealer with Love Your Selfie Foundation, which has it built in. Um, four-in-one pressed has it built in as well, but I really love the texture of our four-in-one sculpting concealer. And the reason that I love it is because it has so many great ingredients for the skin. Plus, I love the fact that it looks like skin. So um, I like my concealers to conceal and not be seen. So I do like to add a little bit of brightening with four in one sculpting concealer underneath my eye area, just where I need it. And especially after the holidays, I don't know about you, but whew, 
girl needs a little bit of brightening. (laughs) Yes. Anytime I find a concealer that makes me look that I, like I got eight hours of sleep is my jam. So, and then as you apply this, since we're doing it as a top layer, you don't need to reset with powder. So that's going to make it look even more natural as well. But um, I had so many friends and family at the house that I d- I got very little sleep. You know, I was up planning the whole time. So this concealer is going to be a lifesaver for me today, really covering up those under eye dark circles. But I'm also going to use this as my eyeshadow primer. You know, do you use eyeshadow primer, Emily, when you apply makeup? So I do not. And I do know that it exists, but I'm very interested on like, what the benefits are and why that step should not be skipped. Well, traditional eyeshadow primers can go a little matte on the eye where I like to use our four-in-one sculpting concealer that gives it more of a skin-like look. It doesn't give a white cast or anything like that. So that way you truly get the color of the eyeshadows you're going to be applying. Um, But what we're doing is we're neutralizing any discoloration on our eyelids. So a lot of us are going to have like pinky tones, purple tones on the eyes. You might see veins and things like that, or you might have an oily eyelid. And this can be very prohibitive when it comes to using eyeshadow. So what we're doing is we are doing the same thing that we would do for our skin on our face. We're doing for our eyelids, but we're using a lighter texture. We're using something like four in one sculpting concealer that is more hydrating, it's more conditioning, and it's meant for this eye area. So this is such a great tip to use. And you use very little of this. You don't need a ton. Um, You don't need a ton of uh, concealer on the eyelid. So now that we've primed our eyes, we are going to talk about eye makeup. Now, I've been doing makeup now for 25 years or so, I want to say. I I know over 20 years, it's got to be like 25 years. And I think eye makeup is where most of us struggle. We don't know what colors to choose. We don't know where to put it. We don't know, you know, what to do. So what we did this holiday season with our Celebrate Yourself um, is create an eyeshadow palette with six eyeshadows that are curated to work with all eye colors, all skin tones, and really give you that very natural to glam type of look. Oh, I love this. Yeah. Now these are fun. These are absolutely fun. And you don't have to be a trained makeup artist. That's what I like. Remember, pure is all about multitasking, mess-free, easy to use products. But what I love is that no matter your eye color, no matter your skin tone, you can pick up this eyeshadow palette and be like a pro, a pure pro all on your own. So I'm just going to take my um, brush. Now, I like to apply eyeshadows with a brush. So I'm going to use flashing lights, which is up here. And this is going to be more so kind of my sculptor. So I'm going to use this right underneath my brow bone um, and really kind of fine uh, define my, uh, my brow bone area. I give it a little bit of pop there. So this is a matte color. It's a really great, it's almost like an oyster. So it's not white, white. It's not pink. Um, it's just a very kind of, um, neutral color that is really great for your eyelids. So this is a really beautiful color for all skin tones once again. And this is just going on our eyelid. Yep, you can go. Okay, making sure um, you could literally go from your lashes to your brow bone if you wanted to. It's totally up to you. Awesome. Totally up to you. So I'm going to switch to a fluffier brush because I am going to add a little bit of dimension to my eye. Now, this is where I think a lot of, especially my girlfriend, they're like, Lynette, this is where I get stuck. Um, So go. Go light first. Remember, it's easier to add to than to take away. So I'm going to go into Cheers, which is this little color here. And this is a beautiful color. If you're unsure about things, always go on the back of the hand first so you can see how the pigment's going to lie down, see how it works, okay? Now I'm going to use my little mirror here. And I'm just going to go and do it just at the crease to the brow bone right there. So I'm just going to go right here. Can you see that? Yeah, I'm just going to go right there, okay? 
just in there and just do a windshield wiper type of motion. And then what that does is you start to diffuse the color. So you're diffusing it towards the nose, you're diffusing it towards the outer part. So this way we can see how this color is gonna work on us, okay? So a little bit of that, I'm gonna go on the other side as well. And this is just two colors in this palette. These are gorgeous. Now you can intensify it, you can lighten it. That color looks really good on you too. Um, this looks amazing. I love this color. It has a little bit of glimmer to it. So one thing about pure is we're not in the glitter game. We're in the glimmer game. Glimmer is what I call the mature glitter. It is nice. softer. It's, it gives you that nice little reflection of light. It's kind of like candlelight, you know, it's not harsh. It's all about giving you that nice little pop of glow. Um, and it's, it's not going to be chunky. It's just going to look natural. So now that we've windshield wiped that, we're, I'm going to take a smaller brush. I'm going to go into On Cloud Wine, because we were talking about that shade, a little yes. bit up all night. I'm going to go into these two. And I'm just going to lightly go across. This is a smaller brush. If you can see that, it's a smaller brush. And I'm going to go across my lash line just to the center of the eye, not, not into the corner of the eye. So I'm just going to do that. And what this is going to do is create that little bit of drama behind the lashes. So if you don't have an eyeliner, this is a really great way. Oops, as I drop my brush. Oops. Party foul. Oh, okay, <laughs> let's try that again. I'm going to go across there. And then whatever's left over, I'm just going to do circular motions right at the corner of my eye to give it a little pickup. Okay, I'm going to work a little bit faster on this other side. Just like that. So if you don't have eyeliner, this is a great way to do it. Or if you do have eyeliner, but you want to have more of a smokier effect, it's a great way to kind of smoke down the eyes as well. Okay, so those are my eyes. They're pretty much done. I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to knock out the color that I just put on out of that brush. No, actually, I'll just switch brushes. Here we go. I'll get grab a clean brush. And I'm going to take Cheers again. And I'm just going to go right underneath my lash line to give it a little bit of fluff right there. Cheers. Very lightly, though, all the way from the outer corner to the inner corner. Now, you shouldn't have a lot of fallout with these lash, with these eyeshadows and things. But if you do find that you do, what I want you to do is just take your uh, <clears throat> liquid chisel brush and you just sweep it underneath the eye. We don't want to add powder to that because powder would set any foliage of eyeshadows into the makeup. We don't want to do that. We want to use a brush that's a little bit wet and we just sweep away anything that we don't want anyone to see. Okay, then you can go in and set it with your powder brush and when it's all clean and nice. Okay, so now we're going to go into mascara. So we've used uh, one, two, three, four of our eyes, four of the six eyeshadows. There's plenty more to play with as well. And now we're going to use the fully charged magnetic technology mascara. We're going to bump up our eyes. So mascara. Oh. I love mascara. It's like one of the things that if I don't have it on, my eyes look naked, right? I feel incomplete without <laughs> uh, mascara. And this, ever since you introduced this mascara to me last time you were here, I feel incomplete without this mascara, to be yes. very specific. Well, thank you. We are very proud of our fully charged magnetic technology mascara that literally wraps around every single one of your lashes, hugging them, giving them volume, giving them length, adding a bit of curl as well. So even if you only have five lashes, you're going to look like you've got 15. Trust me. <laughs> I love that. And my favorite thing about mascara, when you find a good one, no clump. Yeah. No clump, never have um, to deal with it, separates them, love it. Yeah, absolutely. So there's two things that you do, what you're going to love about the application that we're doing is the fact that your Celebrate Your Selfie palette actually comes with this deluxe size of the fully charged magnetic technology mascara. And when you fall in love with it, like Emily and I have, you can go and also pick up a full size. So that way you have more to play with. I usually keep this one in my purse and then I keep my full size at home all the time. Now, if you wanted to add eyeliner and things like that, you could mo uh, most certainly do that. 
um, that, you know, I'm just going to pop on a little bit just to show a little bit of dif differentiation of our look here um, using our on point waterproof eyeliners. Just to add a little bit of drama there. You could certainly do that if you wanted to as well. Emily, you're doing such a good job. Thank you. I have a good teacher. And don't you love the, the mirror that comes in this palette? Like we haven't put down our palettes at all. No, it's so helpful and it's perfect. It's perfect. And I actually, a lot of these uh, products and compacts, they come with a mirror, which is yeah. super, super helpful. And you don't know like how great it is until you come across something that doesn't have a mirror, but pure will never let that happen to you. That is, is true. What I'm starting to learn. <laughs> Well, as a everyday beauty essential, you got to see <laughs> to put this <laughs> exactly, exactly. So it works out. It works out. Okay. So let me see your look. Very nice. Here I am so it. far. Skin looks fab. <laughs> loving it. I'm loving it. Okay. So I guess the last or second to the last step is actually putting on a little bit of our lip and cheek uh, product. So awesome. we're going to do silky pout. So I'm going to use raspberry spritz. What are you going to use? So I have sugar plum and I am super excited. This seems pretty first time using this. This is a little warmer or more mm -hmm. berry, would you say? Yeah. Okay. It is. It's a bit warmer, a bit more berry, but it's actually going to be a great contrast to your sweater. So I'm really glad you actually have that one. Perfect. And it's going to complement your skin tone as well. So yours is going to be a little bit darker than mine. Mine's a raspberry, so it's a bit more pinky like your shirt. <laughs> um, so, but yours has got this beautiful color that's going to make your, your teeth look really white. So get ready for compliments on how white your teeth are as well. Perfect. Sold. I'll take it. I will take 20 of these. <laughs> So as you apply yours, um, I'm going to take the silky pout. So I've already applied it to my lips. And now I'm just going to take it and apply it to my cheeks as well. And if you're going to ever use like cream blush or like these silky pouts as blush, just draw a heart onto your cheeks. And that will literally give you the right application, the right amount for your blush. So um, I'm going to take a brush. Let me get a clean brush here. Mm, let me use this brush. And I'm just going to buff that out. And literally, this just turns into a beautiful pinky blush. Now, I love blush, so I like mine to be a little stronger. But um, but this one does match your sweater, so which is great. So it's a really nice pinky friendly color. And in the winter time, that is truly where you want to use cream blush over powder blush. Because again, it's hydrating, it's moisturizing for the area, um, and it's going to make it look more dewy on the skin. Oh, love it. It looks so good. Look at you. You are ready to go. You are ready for everything. Okay. Last step, last step. Let's add a little bit of illumination. Yes. Let's grab our setting sprays. Got now, it. To lock in this fab look, we're going to shake it up. This is Litmus Setting Spray. She is going to set, illuminate, and hydrate the skin. So we're going to shake it up. We're going to hold it out and allow it to fall onto the skin. Just one to two pumps is all you need. And what that does is it literally locks in your makeup. And then you're done. This is awesome. And you know, um, you also introduced this to me last time you were here. And um, we're kind of out of that season now, but good to know for spring and summer. I actually will spray a little this a little of this on my legs if I'm wearing a dress or shorts. I feel like it gives it a nice, uh, makes my legs look a little bit more toner than, uh, than they probably are. But I love this shimmer. So whenever I'm looking for something for just a little bit of shimmer, I will put it there. This stuff is awesome, but I like it. You, more this is more of like a glimmer like you said it it's not it's overpowering but it gives you a nice a really nice shine 
It does. It does just add that a little bit of illumination to the skin that we kind of need. You know, it's funny because we mentioned celebrity this morning and I was watching a celebrity in an interview and I was like, gosh, your skin just looks so glowy, so hydrated, so smooth. And it's like, you know, that's what litmus setting spray is to do. It's like you you don't know you need it till you try it. And someone goes, oh, my gosh, your skin looks amazing. Uh, Yes. And we love those compliments. Those are the best compliments. Yes. And um, I did want to just jump into our chat really uh, quickly. We have a couple of questions. So you did um, mention this, for, but for those are the ones that maybe jumped on um, a little bit after our show started, um, all the products we talked about, more specifically the foundation, um, is this good for every skin tone? We have someone in our chat that has a little bit more of an oily skin. Absolutely. Matte foundation is fabulous for oily skin tones as well as dry skin tones as well but you will absolutely love love your selfie um, for your skin now I do recommend also using it with a primer that also helps kind of combat some of the oil in the skin but um, definitely I think you'll love it and do apply it with a brush not your fingers because when you apply with your fingers across the oil it may not smooth as well as using a brush okay that's perfect. Yes. And thank you so much for that question. Um, Cause I know everyone has all different uh, types of skin. Mine is very dry. So I'm just like, give me all the moisture you can have. Um, and then we have another question. So um, when you, uh, well, myself too, when we were applying a little bit of the tears under our eye, um, Someone was asking, should, when doing that, should they always look for a darker color or what's the best to do under eye? So cheers is kind of a little bit deceiving in the pan because when you use it with a brush, I'll show you, um, I'm using it with a very loose brush. When I use it with a loose brush, it's not going to hold the pigment together as it would if it was a dense brush. So let me see if I can actually get her to kind of show up. Uh, for you. So I just popped it here, right there. So you can see that though in the pan, she looks like she's going to be really brown. She's actually not. She's actually very kind of rose gold copper. So that way, when I use it underneath the eyes, it just gives me that perfect shading. It's not too dark. It's not too light. It's like the perfect under eye. But do make sure you get kind of a brush. um, And you may already have one kind of like this. This. It's round, but it's it, you. You can give it a little bit of wiggle that will help you to control and diffuse as you go underneath the eyes. Awesome! No, that's yeah. great. And then, um, looks like we have time for one more question. The other question was for the silky pout. Uh, what we used. Um, so we did apply this on our lips um, as a full like lipstick coverage. I love that it's matte, by the way. Um, and then we also put it on our cheeks. Is this something that, um, is this something that we can use as a lip liner? So you could in the beginning use it as a lip liner because they do look like crayons when you first get them. Um, unfortunately I'm not so kind with mine. So mine go (laughs) down to like, literally I use this one all the time. So I've like taken the tip off. Um, but, um, But you could use it just carefully as your lip liner and fill it in with like a lip gloss or a lipstick. So it is a great layering product like a lip liner would be too, for sure. And they kind of like stain. They're not waterproof, but they do kind of leave the color there for you, which I like. Yes, I do too, because, you know, with drinking and eating, um, they wear off. Yes. (laughs) So yeah. that is awesome. And then I've noticed too um, about this after applying it, it it doesn't, it feels very moisturizing and I don't feel like this is going to flake or dry out at any point. No, I'm glad you pointed that out because a lot of times matte, and it's not, it's not matte matte, it's kind of like a demi matte or a semi matte. Think of like velvet, you know, in certain light, it reflects light and things like that. So it's not a matte matte but it is more matte than what's on the market right now. Um, And in terms of hydration, they are very hydrating. They've got rosemary extract, they've got shea butter, they've got vitamin E, they've got um, turmeric extract in there too. 
So they are going to be a bit more hydrating on the lip um, and not be drying out. That is something that I do really appreciate about Pure is I always feel like, you know, they put the skin first or the lips first or the eyes first, whatever product that is, they want to make sure that one, you're going to be comfortable wearing it. Cause if you're not comfortable wearing it, you're not going to wear it. And it's going to end up in your graveyard. So in your makeup graveyard. So we don't want that to happen, but these are definitely really hydrating. You will feel that difference on the cheek area as well. So it feels like it feels hydrated and it looks bouncy you know, so it's like, it's a good, it's really good product. And again, multitasking, easy to use. Yes. It's nice that especially traveling, you only have to bring one thing. And this also can be thrown in your, uh, in your bag. If you yeah, need exactly. to. Yeah, exactly. If you pick up the multitasking daily beauty essential bag that does already come with a four in one pressed, you'll have your chisel brush. You'll have a mascara. You've got the primer. I mean, you still have room for all the goodies that we talked about today. Even the skincare can all fit in here and it's one bag, you go. Yeah, that is incredible. Um, and we have so many people in the chat just raving about um, all the different products. Um, a lot of people are loving the Lit Mist uh, setting spray. Me too, me too. Um, and we also have a lot of new fans on the eye palette. So um, just as Lynette discussed, it is a part of the, there's a kit and it comes with an eyeshadow or I'm sorry, a mascara. Yeah. This is the eyeshadow. <laughs> it's an eyeshadow um, with a nice travel size um, mascara. So it's really nice. You can pick up these products um, in store where uh, Pure Beauty is sold as well as shopmyexchange.com. Um, and dare I say it, because we just got through Thanksgiving, the holidays are here. They have arrived. So Lynette, that is a perfect gift to someone. It is right? absolutely. So it, it is already like gift box for you basically. Mm -hmm. Um, and this is the eyeshadow palette we applied. It shows you the tones of the colors here. It has the mascara right here. So it's a great little stocking stuffer, great host gift. Great gift for, you know, sisters, family members, um, yourself even, you know, it's kind of like every three or four product or three or four gift, uh, gift purchases. I always buy something for myself <laughs> and wrap it for myself. <laughs> nothing wrong with that. No, nothing <laughs> wrong with that. That's what I was going to say. A couple for friends, family, and then one for you. And yeah. then um, the bag with the products in it. That's another um, incredible um, gift to give as yes. well. And you can never have too many cosmetic bags. Truly, you can't. I use them for everything from holding my skincare to my makeup to my electronic cords. Yes. These are awesome when yes, it comes they to packing. They yeah. are. That is so great. Well, before I let you go, really quickly, would you mind just going through everything we applied on our faces today um, for everyone watching? Absolutely. So again, speaking to the skincare, it's very important to keep your skin hydrated. So we did start off with prepping our under eyes with tone up. This is for all skin types as well. Really helps with under eye dark circles, deep puffing the eyes and really addressing the, the crow's feet. Cloud cream is a savior when it comes to dehydrated skin in the winter. You can layer this over top of any moisturizer and just get an instant boost. Um, and then my favorite, and hopefully yours now, Emily, is our Get a Lift, which is going to lift and firm the skin. I like to call it, again, suspenders for my neck and face. I have used this product, gosh, I think since like probably 2012. Well, so a long time, long time. She's been in the line. So she's a really great product. Then we went over to our essentials kit. And this is where we got our primer from. Very key, very essential for winter time. Don't skip a primer. So this is Energize and Rescue Primer, suitable for all skin types as well. We layered over top that the beautiful Love Your Selfie Foundation. Again, um, matte foundation. 
um, that we love to use. Um, we set that with our lovely four-in-one press that does come out of the essentials kit. So we did use that. And then we started prepping our eye area with the um, sculpting concealer. So really great for brightening underneath the eye, but then use it as your eyeshadow primer. So that way, when we applied the Celebrate Your Selfie, palette, eyeshadow palette, and then the mascara, you get that longevity of eye makeup, smoother effect, beautiful color tone as well. And then we did our mascara, of course, using fully charged uh, mascara that came in the Celebrate Your Selfie kit. We finished off our look with everyone's new favorite, the <laughs> litmus setting spray, um, which illuminates the skin and makes our skin look bright and youthful as well. And remember, it's loaded with um, skincare too. So you're really doing a benefit for the skin. And that completes our pure everyday beauty essentials that are multitasking, easy to use and good for the skin. Awesome. No, thank you so, so much for going through that again. And as always, it is always fun um, doing a get ready with me, with you um, and the beauty tribe. Um, it's always fun, Lynette. I think you're one of the very few people that can get me on camera without makeup and apply makeup in front of uh, everyone. So we thank you so much for being here as always. And as you know, it's never goodbye. It's always see you later. So thanks you so too. much, Lynette, for being here with us today. Absolutely. My pleasure. It's always a pleasure spending the afternoon with you and putting my makeup on with you too, like girlfriend. All right. Now we're ready for the day. Yeah, you know, this is great. Yes. <laughs> um, and to the beauty tribe, I know I say this every show, but I mean it with my whole heart. Um, you guys could be doing anything today, right now, and you've chosen to spend uh, your time with us. And that means the world to Lynette and I, as well as everyone behind scenes of Beauty Live um, that you don't see, but make this happen. So thank you. Thank you so much. Be sure to check out all the incredible Pure Beauty, shopmyexchange.com, um, as well as your local exchange. And their military um, exclusive pricing just for you, best customers in the world. So make sure to load up. Um, and Lynette, we will see you soon. And Beauty Tribe, we will see you next week for another incredible Beauty Live. Thank you.